Hi, this is Ramachan from OnlineMathForAll.com. In this video, we are going to talk about solving absolute value equation. So we all know about absolute value equation, but often we confuse how to solve an absolute value equation. Okay, we can consider an example of absolute value equation. Let us consider the equation x positive 3, absolute value of x positive 3 is equal to 9. Okay, whenever we solve this kind of absolute value equation, the first thing what we do is we just take two branches for the given absolute value equation. So the first branch is going to be uh, x positive 3 is equal to positive 9. And in the second branch is going to be x positive 3 is equal to negative 9. So the first step what we do is we just remove the absolute value and we take the expression what we have in the absolute value and we just take the number on the right side with the same sign if it is positive we take along with the positive sign if it is negative we take along with the negative sign in the second branch again we take the same expression what we have in the absolute value but on the right side we take the number in opposite sign for example in the given equation if you have positive sign we just take negative in case we have negative sign in the given equation we take positive sign so we take uh, opposite sign from the given one okay so often we confuse why we take like this uh, okay we uh, first uh, let us finish solving this particular problem and then I'll explain you why we take negative sign in the second branch so here after uh, it's a bit easy to solve this one because uh, uh, in the first branch we have x positive 3 is equal to 9 if you want to solve for x we just have to take negative 3 on both sides so when we take negative 3 on both sides we get x is equal to 6 and uh, here also we have to do the same thing so we have to take negative 3 on both sides so when you take negative 3 on both sides we get x is equal to negative 12 so finally we are getting two values for x so the solution is x is equal to 6 comma negative 12 okay now we can discuss uh, why we take opposite in sign uh, when it in the second branch why we take opposite sign for the given number so we can discuss the same thing in our next page for example for before we are going to consider an absolute value equation let us consider a number uh, with absolute value for example let us consider absolute value of negative 3 so what is the absolute value of negative 3 so we all know the absolute value of any number so will be positive that is positive 3 suppose I'm going to take absolute value of positive 3 so that is also equal to the positive value that is positive 3 so from this point it's very clear instead of the absolute value whether you take negative sign or positive sign so that gives the result positive value so if you take negative 3 the result is positive 3 if you take positive 3 the result is positive 3 so instead of the absolute value negative 3 or positive 3 so that is equal to positive 3 so from this point uh, now we can see how to solve a absolute value equation okay now we can move to the original problem uh, initially we took the problem absolute value of x positive 3 is equal to 9 now we can consider the same problem okay now we can consider the part that we have in inside the absolute value that is x positive 3 so just uh, just now I told you instead of the absolute value whether we have positive value or negative value we are going to get the same result that, it, that is positive so absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3 absolute value of positive 3 equal to 3 so like this absolute value of negative x positive 3 will be x positive 3 absolute value of uh, x positive 3 will be equal to x positive 3 <coughs> so whenever we have number instead of the absolute value so we can then we can take negative or positive any sign can be taken for the one that we have an absolute value the same concept I'm going to apply for the given problem absolute value of x positive 3 is equal to 9 so instead of the absolute value we have x positive 3 so for that particular expression either we can ne take negative or 
positive so both are applicable okay so when you do so you will be getting two branches so in the first branch I'm just going to take positive sign for the one that we have in the absolute value so that's going to be x positive 3 is equal to 9 and then the second thing for the same expression we have in the absolute value we can apply negative sign so that will be negative x positive 3 equal to I mean negative sign of x positive 3 is equal to 9 so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the first part as it is and I'm just going to take negative 3 on both sides so I'll be getting x is equal to positive 6 so positive 3 negative 3 will get cancelled and the next thing is I'm just going to multiply negative sign inside the absolute value I'll be getting negative x negative 3 equal to 9 now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take positive 3 on both sides otherwise uh, we can do the same problem in some other way that is uh, in this equation both sides we can multiply by negative sign when you multiply by negative sign on the left side this negative will become positive so it will be positive x positive 3 on the right side already we have positive 9 when you multiply by negative sign it will become negative 9 so now I am going to take negative 3 on both sides so when I do so positive 3 negative 3 will get cancelled x is equal to negative 12 so finally the solution is x is equal to 6 comma negative 12 so I hope now the students will be able to understand so why we take a uh, positive sign and negative sign uh, on the right side value so uh, when we have uh, to solve an absolute value equation uh, for more videos like this please visit www.onlinemathforall.com thank you